are obviously well aware that in the absence of good nutrition could upend and sabotage your post-run recovery efforts. Good post-run recovery nutrition in large measure begins with making anti-inflammatory dietary choices, which is going to be an advantage because anti-inflammatory foods really plays right into helping effectively put a lid on pain triggering chronic inflammation that is mostly the underpinning of muscle pain, joint stiffness, and soft tissue swelling. In this particular video, I'm going to outline more of the study proven muscle nourishing top of the list post run recovery foods that are hugely and widely influential in helping to scale back chronic inflammatory events and cellular activities that are again the core underpinnings of pain, soreness, and stiffness. The first food is barley, which makes a very good, hearty, healthy breakfast cereal. And also barley happens to be one of the oldest grains around. Barley may play a very big role in enriching post-run recovery and everything that goes into scaling back pain, triggering chronic inflammation. According to Australian researchers, consuming a half a cup of barley on a daily basis attacks muscle irritating inflammatory toxins and waste products that can be incredibly harmful to muscle health. How does barley help whisk away inflammatory bodily toxins and waste products? Well, the researchers revealed that barley is lush in a trio of key minerals, which are magnesium, molybdenum, and selenium, and it really takes these three key minerals to really help activate key detoxification enzymes that goes into helping your liver work better to flush out inflammatory wastes and toxins, which from this may help bring more post-run nutritional support. Brussels sprouts are another food very tough on chronic inflammatory agents and can help make you more resilient in helping you along the way with higher quality post-run recovery nourishment. And here's why. According to researchers at Albert Einstein College of Medicine, the researchers found that Brussels sprouts may have a leveling effect on the overproduction of certain hormones, whereby Brussels sprouts were found to pump the brakes on the overproduction of certain hormones, especially excessive estrogen production in women, in that when in excess, too much estrogen may erode tissues, potentially causing tissue damage. So it's the tissue protective capacity that is one of the healthy assets of Brussels sprouts. And the researchers found that there are two natural occurring compounds in Brussels sprouts that help strike down tissue damaging hormone levels. And these two compounds in Brussels sprouts were identified as sulforaphane and indole 3 carbonyl, which to reiterate are natural compounds strongly implicated in breaking down the overproduction of certain hormones before they can latch on to tissues and inflict harm. So this is how Brussels sprouts may really keep your post run recovery going in the right direction. For a side note, other foods that are rich in sulforaphane and indole 3 carbonyl are broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, arugula, radishes, bok choy, and collard greens. Certain oils can help make a big difference in helping to wall off chronic inflammation from festering into muscle pain and joint stiffness. For instance, there's a real reason coconut oil has been getting so much attention in the nutrition arena. Spiking your coffee, tea, or cooking with one tablespoon of extra virgin coconut oil daily may help your post-run recovery efforts go farther. Part of the reason coconut oil may help safeguard your muscles and tissues is that according to French researchers, coconut oil's potent anti-inflammatory capacity is really rooted in its phenolic compounds, which are nutrients very high in concentration in coconut oil. Phenolic compounds are known to destroy abnormal, insidious, and irregular cellular growth. And by the same token, coconut oil's phenolic compounds may spur on and encourage healthy tissue cellular growth, 
helping cells divide properly. So this is one of the reasons coconut oil can be so powerful at potentially preventing a lot of unnecessary inflammatory events that could really be avoided. Another oil to consider that may help in aiding prevent your muscles, soft tissues from getting worn down is extra virgin olive oil. According to Italian researchers, consuming three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil daily in place of other fats may slash your risk of aches and pains by nearly 50% and it may also dramatically accelerate recovery time for if you are currently sidelined with a muscle or soft tissue ailment. How exactly does extra virgin olive oil bring real results with respect to resolving pain symptoms? According to the researchers, much of the anti-inflammatory capacity of extra virgin olive oil is thanks to extra virgin olive oil being abundant in a rare and powerfully potent anti-inflammatory compound known as hydroxytyrosol, which may help contribute to making good progress in terms of speeding healing and reigning in inflammatory troublemakers. Another way to get more pain triggering chronic inflammation out is by getting more curcumin in to your body. Curcumin is the active ingredient in the spice turmeric, whereby study after study has really pinpointed curcumin as a highly safe, natural, effective anti-inflammatory agent that may really serve as a supporting role in post-run recovery nutritional enrichment. According to data in the journal Pain Medicine, the researchers noted that curcumin contains a natural compound that reduces your body's production of COX-2, which is an enzyme that triggers inflammation, swelling, and pain. What we've learned is that curcumin interferes with the overproduction of COX-2, thereby helping to fan the flame of pain triggering inflammation. Another natural remedy proven to help bring pain relief is lavender tea. According to German researchers, lavender tea and pain relief may go hand in hand because the researchers found that the active ingredient linalool in lavender tea helps strike down achiness by boosting the brain's production of calming pain soothing alpha waves. So lavender tea is another healthy route to take to help deter muscle soreness. Now for a topical muscle soothing pain reducing approach, you can give wintergreen essential oil a try. According to British researchers, massaging diluted wintergreen essential oil on a sore spot can really make a difference in reducing muscle joint or soft tissue pain and swelling by almost 30%, the researchers discovered that winter green essential oil is abundantly rich in methyl salicylate, which stimulates blood flow to the affected injured area and helps send deep currents of nutrient rich and oxygenated blood flowing through your tender spots. For a post run drink, Grape juice can also be effective in helping scale back pain triggering chronic inflammation. Reports out of the journal Phytomedicine hinted that grape juice can be a real intervening post run dietary variable because grape juice attacks pro inflammatory agents. The researchers found that purple grape juice is rich in resveratrol, which is a natural compound that specifically targets damaged, frazzled, weary cells and helps repair and recharge those cells as well, putting them back into a stronger form, making them more resilient. So this is how purple grape juice aids in cellular repair and may help you break through to better recovery. Overall, I really thought it would be very helpful to list off additional evidence-based post-run nutritional worthy dietary aids because all in all, injury prevention and optimally sustained post-run recovery really does go way beyond massages and stretches. Adopting a non-inflammatory, healthy, clean diet is obviously a weapon of choice that can really affect your post-run recovery outcomes, making you stronger, more resilient in the face of tough and hard training. And as the research has told us over and over again, 
food can be used as a medicine to a very large degree. The right kind of foods can certainly help quail and protect against the pro-inflammatory discourses that can make it easier for an injury to emerge. I hope you've enjoyed this video. For more nutritional tips pertaining to running, please subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will also stay up to date on the latest research regarding the health and performance benefits of barefoot running as well as minimalist running. And you will also stay more informed on the health harming effects of traditional running shoes and how traditional running shoes may pose a great threat to proper biomechanics. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Have fun out there on the roads and trails. Bye for now.